Okay, so we're going to talk about the Q Premier boiler. This is what it is right here, Q Premier. For short, we call it the QP. A Q Premier, Q Premier boiler is a unique single cabinet design. Okay, it's an efficient boiler and a water heater all in one. So, and it's all in one box. Normally you would have a boiler on the floor and a water tank next to it, connected. Or you'd have a tankless on the wall and a boiler on the wall. Or tankless on the wall, boiler on the floor. Anyways, it takes up twice as much room as this. Okay? We use our height to absorb the floor space. So if you're building homes, you all know space is a commodity. So this is going to save you in that department. When you're trying to give your customer more closet space, more basement space, what have you, this is, has the lowest footprint in the industry for what for the category, for boiler and hot water heater. Nobody uses less space than that for that amount of BTUs. Okay, so we got them there. Um, <clears throat> so we got a single appliance, it's a heating boiler coupled with a water heater. Okay, so what, else, what other kind of valuable things does this offer you? Number one, it's an engineered system. So the boiler is connected to the water tank at the factory by factory people that only do that every day. So it's done right, the pipes are the right size, the pumps are the right size, it's wired properly. You don't have to rely on your builder or your plumber to know how to put a water tank and a boiler heating system together. So you have less problems just out of the box from a cleaner installation. So it's engineered, we put it together, we put the expansion tank and all the pumps in there. Okay, it gives you the space savings and of course uh, a labor savings, if your plumber's not on the job, oh, I forgot a fitting, I gotta go out to my van, oh, I didn't bring that, I gotta go to the wholesaler, it's all in there. He just needs to connect the pipes at the top. Okay, so your plumber's gonna like it too. All right, it's less stuff he has to lug in, less pipes, less wiring, you don't have to hire an electrician. Well, maybe you do to run it to the to 120, but all the internal stuff is done for you. So it's a reduced install time. So you can get more jobs because you can quote your jobs at lower prices. It's flexible. It can go in a living space. It's beautiful looking. It looks like an appliance. Washer, dryer, boiler. The lady of the house doesn't mind. It's white, it's clean. You know, it's not scary looking with pipes and wires coming all off it, cobwebs. It's a good looking unit. So it's very versatile as where you can put it. You can put it in a playroom, a rec room. Um, this product is, is made in Europe, okay? It is made in Holland. And Holland is the leader in this type of design because in Holland they have very small homes and they all are on grade. No one has a basement in Holland. Why? Because they're already below sea level. You dig a hole in the ground and water comes up. So they can't have basements. They needed a small unit for small homes. And guess what? Holland's on top of one of the largest gas reserves in Europe. So yeah, dig another hole and natural gas comes out of the ground. So the, the unit was kind of built around what they had. <coughs> and, and they've developed it and engineered it over the year. This particular unit's been selling now 10 years over there. We finally brought it over. We figured, okay, this market's ready for it. Um, we're a bit behind the times when it comes to heating technology, but we're catching up quick. So now we're starting to bring over more advanced products from Europe. Okay, how does it work internally? First of all, you have the main heat exchanger. That's what HEX, H-E-X, heat exchanger. Okay, that's industry term. OSS, well, that's the model number of it. So let's just call this the primary heating unit, the boiler part. The boiler part generates the hot water, the gas flame is in there, the hot water then goes to your radiator. You got a call for heat, heats the radiator. With the use of a pump, it also travels through a valve. Okay, now we add the hot water part. Yep, pretty complicated. Okay, this was simple. Making hot water is very complicated, let me tell you. It's one of the most difficult things to do in the mechanical industry, is to make hot water efficiently and reliable. 
So now we add the hot water portion. We have to add another heat exchanger and connect it to that same three-way valve. We also add a tank and another pump. Yep, it's getting more complicated. But because the guy in the factory is putting it together, it's the same every time, no problems. <clears throat> what happens is when the tank calls for heat, as this loses temperature because you're taking a shower, this pump kicks in, this valve changes position, and now the primary heated water doesn't go to the heating system, it goes to the tank. Okay? Once the tank is charged back up, the valve changes positions, and now you're back in heating. Okay, so it's going to make the choice for you. Again, you always get domestic priority. All right, that's this number one job, not to give you a cold shower. All right? This tank is very unique in that our heat exchanger sits outside. Most indirect tanks, if any of you guys are plumbers, normally the heat exchanger is in here. It sits in the bottom of the tank. And when it's trying to heat the tank, it heats it at such a slow rate, for the first 20 minutes, you're getting a water that's not even hot enough to shower in. It's not until the end of the cycle that it's hot enough. With this system, look what's happening. The heated domestic water is going into the top of the tank. It will literally travel across and go right to your shower. Give it one minute and you'll be taking a shower because it bypasses the, the tank. See, the tank goes cold because maybe you filled the jacuzzi tub. Now you want to jump in the shower. Tank is cold, no problem. Give it a minute, the water is going to go right around and back out here. It's not even going to mess with the bottom of the tank. When the shower is over, then it will charge the tank up. When that's depleted, when this is depleted, now it can give you a shower indefinitely. So that's, that's really the, the biggest advantage right there. Okay, it has all the good things about a tank and all the good things about a tankless. We have two models, 85,000 and 130,000. Um, the first hour rating, 211 gallons, which means if you open the hot water tap in one hour, you can fill about four 55-gallon drums. That's a lot of hot water, okay? Once you fill four 55-gallon drums, then you can hop right in the shower about a minute later. The second hour rating is going to be less because it's the continuous draw. You've taken the tank out of the picture. You've already depleted the tank. Now it's just running direct. It is a stainless steel heat exchanger. It's engineered. It is ASME. That is the American Society of Mechanical Engineers. They have looked at that and put their stamp on it and says it's good. It is a boiler. It will pass all standards. A lot of people will try and sell a boiler without that stamp. Yeah, they'll sell them because they're cheap, but when an inspector says, I want to see the ASME stamp, you got to be able to show them the stamp. We got the stamp. Uh, it's a high efficiency. You can see it's an AFU of 96.1%. It's relatively low weight. Okay, this is a 130,000 BTU boiler. I can drag this into the house myself. Do you know what a 130,000 BTU cast iron boiler weighs? About 350 pounds. You can't do this with one hand. 24 gallon stainless steel tank, integrated low loss header, top right left pre-bend kits, which means, okay, if you don't want to come, so if your boiler's in the basement, your pipes all got to go upstairs, so you got top, top connections. Now if your boiler, if your boiler's on the living space, you come out of here and then go into your wall cavities and down the hallway, okay, so you have the option, you can also come out this side. So these pipes in the back can go left, right, or straight, depending on which kit you buy. So it's, it's very versatile in that respect. Space requirements, okay, we take up about as much space as a 45 gallon tank. Say as much, it's close, it's not round, it's square, it's a little bit bigger, but it is a boiler and a tank, so you can see the difference. And that's it for the heating session. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it.